Hemodialysis is one of the treatment options that um, a patient has when they've been told their kidneys are failing. They get to what we call end-stage renal disease. So at end-stage renal disease, that means that without dialysis, which is the process of cleaning the blood, they would not be able to survive. By the time they get to end-stage renal disease, now um, they have to make a decision. Is it going to be peritoneal dialysis or is it going to be hemodialysis? Hemodialysis is um, blood cleaning, but in this process, the blood is actually direct access and it's outside the body running through tubing. So that's what makes it different to PD. When you look at uh, hemodialysis, first of all, it looks really confusing. It looks very overwhelming, and of course, it's not normal to have blood running outside your body. So um, if you break it down, it's the machine. So the machine is the monitoring system. It monitors everything that's going on, um, what the pressures are like, controls the pump speed, that gives the amount to pull off the patient in that time span that we have that they're on. So the machine's your monitoring system. Then we have the tubing. The tubing is the actual transport system. So it pulls the blood away and gives the blood back when it's cleaned. Then we have the access. So the access is the place where we're going to be able to get the blood from the body. So either it's in the forearm or the upper arm, or it can be in the chest. So these two accesses are, are different. This is either a fistula or a graft, and um, the one in the chest is called a central venous catheter. So those are the accesses.